Up next is Bubba Fett from The Mandalorian. Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. Up next is my review of the Bandai, Star Wars, The Mandalorian, Bubba Fett, and 112th Scale. Now, this is another video in my series of Bandai Star Wars kits. And this was uh, produced by Bandai Spirits in 2022, which is this year. And I will go ahead and show you the, the rest of the box after I'm done showing you all the parts here. Let's look inside. And right away they give you a pamphlet on how to build these models. And of course these kits are snap together press fit kits, but you can glue them, but just be careful where you apply your glue because these are designed to allow the parts to move and give you different poses if necessary. But uh, it's very handy to have this available if it's the first time you've ever built one of these kits from Bandai. Let's check out to see what's in the box real quick. And there's all the parts. What I've noticed right away was it looks like we just get stickers and no decals with this. And the other thing is uh, most of the parts, there's more color with these parts as compared to the original Bubba Fett release model kit that I reviewed and I build on my channel. I put links down below on my review and my build for the Bubba Fett that I originally did for this. But here's the instructions in themselves. And if you would like to see the instructions in full, I can make another video for that. If not, I'm just going to show you the painting guide on the back. Let's get a closer look. And you can see here the how where all the markings and painting guide needs to go there. We'll scroll down. You can see that there. And next. So if you want to see these, you can pause the video. And once again, the colors needed. And this video is in 4K, so you should see everything very clearly on your computer screen or TV monitor. So what makes this kit stand out is we'd actually get the head and face of Bubba Fett from the TV show with this kit. And that's what makes it cool and what that's what drew my attention to this because I'm like, hey, I already have the Bubba Fett. I already built it. Why would I want another one? And that's why, because now this one, since the movie came out and they, they released this, we get the head sculpt for Bubba Fett. So let's see what they talk about that in the instructions. So it looks like right here, step eight, they talk about the sculpt there and how it goes down in place. Very cool. All right, so let's look at the parts and I'll be right back. The first bag contained two sprue trees and what looks like a material for his cape. These trees are injected molded in black plastic. So you can see there. Remember this kit is a press fit or a snap together type kit. So this would be his torso, feet, legs, and his weapon. Let's get a closer look and just kind of go around here and show you all the parts. Very nice there. And you can see his, his hands are also represented there. And just to show you the backside, everything here is uh, precise and press fits very nicely together. So very little glue, if any glue, is required here. I wouldn't even recommend having to use glue. Here's the next tree. It's a little bit larger. It's tree number C. And uh, this includes his legs, his hips, hands, 
and some of the joint areas. It looks like everything here is black. There's some slide molding going on here, right there, with that part. So that's pretty cool. But that's about it there. It's all black. Let's get a close up. And there it is. And this is the part here that was slide molded. Moving across. Hands, legs. Could be portions of his arms there. All right, let's look at the fabric they included in this bag. And you can see inside the bag there, there's there must be parts of his cape that are included. This has some texturing on it there. You can just see that. Okay. The next bag contained these two trees. One is a dark chocolate brown, and the other one is like a mustard color. And these are part of his armor, obviously. Very good there. And then it looks like it's part of his uh, belt and such. In this case, it's a hard plastic. It's not rubberized. So it's just like the rest of the plastic parts there. But that's what that looks like. The next bag contained uh, three sprue trees and the stickers. And these are what we call the, the movable joints areas of the kit. They're made of like a rubber or a Teflon material. Very soft and pliable. And this is probably the main reason why you can't use any of your Tamiya panel line accent colors for this, because that yeah, enamel, for some reason, will melt this stuff. So be aware of that when building this. When you want to go weathering, don't use any uh, enamels on this kit. Try to stick with just your acrylics, water-based stuff. Here's the next two items that were found in that bag. We have a dark green, almost a forest green, tree here and that's more part of his uh, uniform and also the stickers so um, Bandai stopped giving us water slide decals and he gave us these stickers these stickers are very nice though don't don't knock them for that they apply down just like the water they look just as good as the water slide obviously they are stickers though okay and the next tree that was in that bag and like I was saying, lots of colors here represented this time more so than the first Bubba Fett that came out. But we have the dark red on top. We have the forest green. Not quite as dark as the other one. You can see, can you see the difference? There's a little bit difference there with the green color there. I'll show you when we get close. Silver and then the tan colored plastic. Let's get a closer view. Okay, so you can see here's the dark red colored. Very nice there. Silver part of his costume. Parts of his cape, tan colored. And more of his dark colored armor. And just to show you the color difference, a little bit of darker plastic compared to that. And the final bag of parts contained three sprue trees. And this is the first one. Everything is made up of that, uh, that dark green plastic. This would be his rocket pack on the back and more parts of his helmet. And we'll go around the tree here just to give you a close up of everything. How that looks there. Very nice details there. And as 
you expect from Bandai, they give us another stand to display Boba Fett on. And the final tree, the final parts. I saved this one for last because obviously we have the, uh, the head sculpt. And right away when I look at this, I noticed uh, something about this kit that I really don't like. I expected more from this than what I got. And I'll explain that in a second. But let's explain this tree. We have uh, four different colors going on. We have a black, a chocolate brown, and that dark red. And then the tan. Um, so let's get a closer look. And here's the black. This includes the, the visor that he looks through on his helmet. It's not uh, transparent, so it's not see-through. And it almost appears like it's rubberized, but it's not. It's just uh, the way it was pulled out of the mold. You can see we have some, some of that going on there. Kind of weird from Bandai that we have that. And then we have the chocolate brown parts of his uniform, of his clothes. Very nice details there. And then the dark red. So I like how Bandai does that, how they're able to put in different colors. Now let's go to his sculpt, his head sculpt. So yeah, we get a head sculpt and it's two pieces. But guess what? We have to paint it ourselves. So unless you're a really good painter, you're probably going to have a hard time with this. So this is unlike the Han Solo and Luke Skywalker kits that they came out previously because they gave you pre-painted head sculpts with those. And those are very nice. So in this case, we don't get that with this. So that's what disappoints me is I paid all that money for this and not get a painted head sculpt like the previous two releases. Let's get a closer look. So it is a very good likeness of the actor who played Bubba Fett. And uh, like I was saying, you're going to have to be really good at painting to finish him off. Maybe there's a sculpture out there you can purchase separately that's already painted. I don't know. I haven't really looked for it. And here's the back of the head. So there you go. That completes uh, the review of all the parts. And uh, like I was saying, that may be the only thing holding you back is this sculpture or maybe the reason why you're getting this kit. It was the reason why I got it was to get the head sculpture. So it would have been nice if it was pre-painted for us just like the other two kits. All right, let's go ahead and look at the box art. Let's go ahead and look at the box. And this is of course the cover of the box. We'll go right to the side. And there it is right there. And you can see they give us a little scene out of the movie and the built-up figure itself. Now this is what's a little bit deceiving to me is they show a painted head. And moving on, then they actually show what's actually in the kit, the unpainted head, and some more parts. So we don't actually get the head on the left, but we get the head on the right. And here's the end box. Kit number 506-3390. And here's the other side of the box. So they give us the Mandalorian and Bubba Fett together. And there you have it. That was a review of the Bandai Star Wars, the Mandalorian 112 scale Bubba Fett. Obviously from the TV show, The Mandalorian. This came out in 2022. If you like my content, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Happy modeling, everybody, and take care.